Alright guys, welcome back to some Legend of Grimrock. And uh, well, there's, I see some buttons there. Because I didn't see it last time, so throw it. The puzzle is solved. That wasn't really a puzzle. It was just throw, throw, throw your bullshit onto some things. Which is the life lessons brought to you by Mike Live. Alright, now let's see what happens when you take these off. It does nothing but fuck us. Alright. Well, uh, there's not much to this gate here, as far as I can tell. So let's fall into the hole. No. No, Jack. You're wounded. You fucking pussy. Oh, we have some uh, more of these things. Oh, uh, you know what? Actually, he's wounded too. So is Canned. I just wanted to have a look around. It's like I wanted to... Actually, Jack has a lot of anti-venom potions too. Why did I get so many? And I, and I still refuse to use them. Oh, we have a bow here just to show you what it is. Uh, it's okay, I suppose. I think I've gotten similar bows before to that. Well, that's a puzzle. Alright, so somewhere down there, we can get shit. These holes have some kind of puzzle related to them. But anyways, let's go back. Let's lurch back to where we we have our uh, save crystal. I'm gonna just fall on this. No. So, something to do with that uh, hole over there, I suppose we have to fall into it at some point. The game is forcing us to take damage. I really hate this limb damage though. So like, Jack is slow. Uh, Kand is slow. We only have one speed and that's um, mediocrely fast. Man, there was this game mode in the first uh, Legend of Grimrock. It was like, uh, there was the guy's notes and if you put his name in after you beat the game with all the secrets. Uh, I forgot what his name was. But basically there was a, another prisoner that went before you. Shit, what's his name? Too Root or something? I don't know, something like that. But when you put in his name, it, it unlocks the secret mode where you play as just him. Like instead of the party of four, you have just this one guy. And he was an overpowered piece of shit. And he had like this smirk on his face and his portrait. And like, I just wanted to punch him in the face because it was super speed, but he was fun to play as. Um, I didn't really play a complete run with him because it takes a very long time. Alright, well, all of the roads actually lead to back here. So, I'm gonna run into the assumption that activating these... Uh, oh, we also have this guy here. I did not notice this. You have another burial chamber there. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna gather though that we've unlocked a little bit more than just this. Because we've already fallen into, into that hole and I, I I swear on me mum that... Uh, yeah, this hole opened, so... HA! <laughs> we, we just Goomba stomped them to hell. This is my house. Alright, and apparently fucking can is hurt again. Oh wow, we just destroyed these things now. Alright, we don't want to quite do this quite yet. Quite is a word that I use quite a lot. It's quite nice, actually. The word quite. Alright, so they have um they have a, a portal here that will take you back to the old place. Or if you're a baller as fuck uh lizard man. You can go into this portal. With it, which leads to a completely new and different place. Full of innovation. And fish AI. Uh, not much else here, though. Okay, fine, button. Ow. Oh, what the fuck you just do? Not a very good archer. Wow, uh, oh, am I just, am I just exceedingly powerful and handsome, or am I just exceedingly powerful and handsome? 
let me know. All right, we're gonna give myself that health potion. We could give it to Ken. Actually, you know, let's just give it to Ken just because I'm sick of him fucking running around, walking around like he's crippled. He's some man up. Oh god, fuck. The minute I heal fucking him, then Pat now just starts complaining. God damn it, Pat. You had to go give yourself cancer again, didn't you? Jesus. When will he learn? Oh, it's a secret. It wasn't even the normal place to go. Resist shock plus 20. Well, I already have a lot of sh resist shock on my other characters. Might as well give it to Jack, though. It's the only thing he's not good at, so... I mean, he's supposed to tank a little bit. Another antidote potion. As if I didn't have enough of those. And we have some of these uh, keys that we don't use very often. Alright, well this is probably um, a puzzle of some sort. So there's a great wizard, no, that's the island master I'm guessing, and they're all like praying to him or some shit. <laughs> He's not a god. That's my job. Alright. Well, there's not much else here, so let's just go into here. Oh. I fail to see what is such a secret about that, actually. I'm guessing it's the whole thing of you have to fall down another hole. Um... You know, I'll be honest, um, I thought this was actually the way forward. I didn't think this was uh, a side stop. Where am I now? Yeah. That w that was a side hurry. That wasn't the way forward like I thought it was. Well, fuck me. All right. Fuck me sideways. Uh, well, then let's go see what's over here then. All right, I'm going to guess that I actually need to take the the arrows off of these platforms. No, that isn't the solution. Maybe I put it on just one? No. Uh... Fuck you, burial chambers. Actually, this one has a door there. So I'm actually going to assume that I was actually supposed to reach this through some other means. Uh, cause you can see the door right there is leading towards it. Maybe that's open now, actually. So, the rest of this was just one big fucking elaborate secret, really. Well, fuck me sideways. And here I am saying that word again. Words. It's not one word. It's some words. Uh, well, you know, we can kind of go here and kind of be disappointed that there's nothing there, actually. So, alright. So, has this guy opened up yet? No. Okay. Uh, so I have a couple of theories on why it could be not opening. Uh, one of the possibilities is the fact that uh, perhaps there's some other solution to open that up, or uh, alternatively, uh, maybe that uh, other items I, I had was supposed to open that thing up and it's not in the right room, particularly the one that with this one. So the best way of verifying that is actually to take it out and then kind of just go back up to the door and see if it's been uh, closed. Then it, it tells me that both of them need to trigger it. Yes, it is. So, what the fuck is the solution to the other room, then? So I did it right the first time, because this is, uh... Oh! There's a note. Here rise, to up the artifact, his companion, and two loyal servants... Um... His companion and the two loyal servants. Maybe this is, uh... Wait, he's got three loyal servants. That's not right. I noticed wrong. Okay, this guy's a loner. We already know that. Fuck that guy. Uh, this is not loyal servants. This is the best thing I can see as a... Uh, but this is supposed to be Nerum the Warrior, though. Try to see if this opened up potentially. No. That's a interesting puzzle. All right. Uh, now, if we put that there without closing the doors, we'll, how will it react? I wonder. Oh, it opens now. Just doesn't care. 
All right. Well, we don't know what's in this place either. Actually, there's supposed to be a look at that. That that room looks like it's supposed to open up into there. So actually, let's look around for a, a button or something to get into there. See this wall? It looks like it should open up. But the solution. Oh, there we go. Maybe I shouldn't press it like three times. See, that didn't take that long to figure that one out. All right. Um. Oh fuck, snakes. Go fuck yourself. Oh yeah, crit and it was a it was this hammer smash thing, so Pat go you can eat that you can eat that snake just because I I, I like I like watching you eat disgusting things. It's the only literally the only reason. I'm a horrible, horrible party member. Actually I think I just backed myself into a corner like a moron. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, uh, and nobody got hurt. Nobody need to get hurt. We have a fuck ton of more stuff here. Look at all that. I, I probably should use that moss or something. All right, here we have another thing. We have waves, uh, a mountain that's emanating sonar waves, and uh, the pe explorers are going towards it, thus answering the legend of Grimrock. All right, we got mirror gauntlets. Um, it gives resistance five. These gauntlets are bulky, but surprisingly nimble when worn. Seems like something he would wear. Give some resist to all, I mean. Yeah, go ahead. And we'll give the strength and deck stuff to, I don't fucking know who. Fine, Can can have it. Just useless for him too. Whatever, just have it, I don't give a shit. Mirror gauntlets, a gift for Burial the Hedonist. His bloater remains needed six vessels. What the fuck? Eternity welcomes him. We have a whole bunch of these stupid ass notes, and they don't make any sense to me. Uh, but apparently, he, he was so fat that he required six vessels. His bloated remains needed six vessels. All right. Uh, we may have to drop that off somewhere soon. Fuck off, torch. Uh. Check out this. Oh. Oh. Puzzle master. Leader of the puzzle race. And ta-da. I'm surprised I figured that one out. I was like trying to trying I was getting desperate actually. Alright. And this is some asshole's uh, grave. So let's just take his shit. Alright, I'm pretty sure these notes are not really necessary anymore, but... They're really not necessary. Why am I keeping all these? Why? This week on Hoarders. Mike Latt plays Legend of Grimrock. Oh, man. I don't know why I'm keeping them. Oh, fuck it, no. Instead of complaining about it, I'm just gonna put them all in the corner here, and then probably realize I need them later. Alright, back to the main room. And here... We have this. Alright. So... Uh, let's just try and f The first thing I want to know is the alignment. So it's actually, it's facing this way. Uh, there is... Almost nothing here that I want. Well, there's that button I want. But it's not important to me. Wait, definitely the opposite side needs to have it. So here, here's here's the solution. So opposite side. Um, then that side. Okay. Right and then the right side, that is. So watch this. Watch this fucking... Oh no, this is not the right place. Yeah, watch this fucking Mike Latt stuff. And then the right side. Okay. Let's also get the gun gunshots here. Alright. I don't think there's anything else I particularly need here. And then I'm gonna do something that no other Legend of Grimlock player has ever thought to do. Bam. Oh yeah. Send pictures of how hard that made you. Oh god. Uh, so that was not... We gotta get the other side here too. 
Uh, we need to also put this over here. All right. Now, now that's perfect. So let's start it off. Ta da! Da 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 da! We got a boiled Craig beetle. That's fucking disgusting. Who's gonna eat it? I don't want that shit. Okay, someone else can have it. Keep it in Pat's inventory, just because I don't want to have him eat it just yet. We also have a pole axe, which is a heavy two handed weapon. Um, not nearly as good as our other two handed weapon there. That maul is amazing. I mean, I have a cleave attack, but fuck that. We got a maul. All right, we sa we save it because we don't we do not know what perilous uh, perils await us here. Oh God, stairs, our worst enemy. Oh, this is fucking second level to this place. Oh God, tomb of offerings. Tomb of sacrifice. All right, the tomb of offerings sounds slightly more friendly, as if there's going to be items for me. I, c I could be though offering myself up for suicide. Oh no, there's a there's a life crystal there. Actually, let's go just go to the part of the map that has it because uh, then it will be explored on my map and I can easily navigate my way back like that. That is how we play Legend of Grimrock, kids. If you want more helpful tips, what the f fuck? I've only seen one thing that is uglier than this. And that's Jack Witchell. Oh, it dies really easily. Well. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm a bit of a at a loss, not gonna lie. Let's open up this burial chamber. And then immediately realize we need something. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, this might be the dude that that was so fat he needed a lot more like guys for fat related purposes But we're just gonna assume that isn't the case right now okay, We also have a bunch of this shit. Oh, and there's also this guy Come to me What the hell is this thing? It's it's like a floating mummy archer. Only in video games do things like this exist and creep me the fuck out. Alright, it's dead. I killed it. Forever. Alright, um... We have that kind of shit, so let's go see if uh, putting an item on it potentially uh, doesn't seem to change anything. So it looks like we have another puzzle here to solve, children. Uh, we also have a hole that I'm just gonna blindly jump down into. Oh, we didn't Goomba stomp anything this time, and now Kand is wounded. We got some, we got some bombs out of it. All right, this is, this is just the your sorry sack of shit uh, falling down place. All right. That's unfortunate. Uh, all right, let's head back to, I guess, the healing crystal because Kand is uh, uh, crippled again. Old man Kand. And we're, it's also getting real dark in here. Well, you know, here's the problem. There isn't actually much else here, but it is the Tomb of Offerings, which means I think I'm supposed to put something on every single pedestal now that I think about it. Um, that makes kind of sense. So let's let's go do that. Actually, uh, now I think about it, that can isn't uh, a former crippled shell of himself. I, I th I'm guessing that tomb is related to the the guy that we saw before. Um, I did kind of toss away his note, and I swear to fucking god, if that note like is required for something, um, I'm just gonna scream bloody murder. So we're gonna offer just arrows, because I'm lazy. Whoa. I did not like that. So I'm guessing what the 
puzzle is here. You must offer at least four things. Um, which ones they change is kind of a mystery. It may invert the row it's on. Yeah, that would actually appear to be the case. It inverts the row. No, it doesn't actually. Fuck. Is, well, uh, no, 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 no. I think it does. So if I remove this, that row is no longer inverted. See the the row going down. Okay. You guys, you guys following me? Um, so in reality, I basically now need to. Okay, that no, that that was actually wait. No, it doesn't actually do that. That one just does the one over here. Okay, now I have absolutely no idea what it changes. I was I thought I was on the right track with something. Maybe I'm still right. Maybe I'm just confused. Yeah, see that that does the row. Uh okay. It only does the far corner. God damn. Consistency, please. Okay, that just does that one over there. Oh my god. So these just... It just means whatever the fuck it wants to mean. Oh, we have that thing there. Okay. I'm gonna run into the assumption though now. That I... This one... No, it's not this one. How do I activate these two again? There we go. One. Not that one. Not that one. Uh, I like just fucking with these things. I could draw like a map of what it exactly changes, but... Oh, we almost have it. Okay. This one inverts those ones. It does change that one though. Okay. We at the very least, I, I think I get it. We need to basically push this lever at least and get to the door. It probably resets the door if I don't, uh... Alright, oh, no, that, that, this looks good. Alright, but now there's just that. I think I have an idea of how to handle this though. No, I don't. I have no idea how to handle this. I'm hoping that I can actually grab it from the other side. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Alright, and then we go here. We, sw we flip the switch and we can go in. Sweet as something that's um, sweet. Uh, that's, that's, I don't know, I feel, I feel like a fucking genius when I solve some of these on my own. I'm not having as much trouble here as, as Pat was predicting. Pat was like, you're gonna, he was like laughing at my, my ass. And now we have that creepy archer thing. Pat is petrified. Pat, stop that. Get your he head in the game, Brohan. Uh-oh. Uh, hi. Stop being petrified. There we go. I guess we don't really need this gun anymore. I mean, I, I guess these things kind of scare the shit out of me. How long does he get petrified for? Apparently a really long time. Oh, fuck. Jack Witchell's now petrified. All it's, it's up to the people who are hungry. No, I'm not gonna eat a beetle. Fuck that. I'm gonna eat that. Okay, how do I unpetrify them? Alright, I'm gonna guess here that I have to do something like, let's say, run away. Oh, I also opened up a bunch of shit here. These things are fucking deadly just for no other reason than the fact that... They cause this st status ailment. Alright, let's just rest for a sec. Can't attack or cast spells. Okay, get your shit in the game. And Jack Witchell apparently can't even fucking heal. 
Because I'm I'm waiting and it doesn't do anything. I think I already have one of these. Yeah, I do. I have the exact same one. Nice shield, but I already have one. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get rid of them. This stasis element. Fucking dickholes. What did we pick up? Oh yeah, we got a tomb key, which uh, I had no idea I was supposed to be collecting these, but actually, maybe we could be an asshole. Aw. Okay, so what the fuck? Are they just gonna be petrified until the end of time? Why are you petrified and how do I get rid of it? Go walk over there. Thanks. These people are fucking useless. I guess I just gotta go. I, I, I'm, I'm assuming I have to heal them or something. Okay, I guess I'll get take all these items back. Oh my god, you kids. You kids are the pets. Ah, can't hit me, can't hit me. That's okay. My clot the super the super mage will save the day. Get behind me, Ken and uh, and Jack. Sorry, not Pat and Jack. Ken is fine. Actually, no, he can get behind me too, motherfucker. He doesn't tell me what to do. All right, let's go now back to the other. Uh, let's go back to the healing crystal. I'm guessing, I'm guessing you're supposed to use either a potion on them or, um, or send them to the crystal to get rid of that status ailment. Can I just go? Thanks. He doesn't see me. Actually, I'm not even supposed to be here. This is a completely different path that just opened up. There we go, now it's gone. No. Back. Back, I say. Je we, we, we just visited the fucking healing crystal. What, what did you lose? You lost your pants? Well, guess what? Too bad. You've lost your pants privileges. And I'm gonna eat a snake. Because I've, I've deserved it. I've been a good boy. Um, I don't know why this didn't look explored before. Or actually, I think it was the the little hole he came from right here. That's what wasn't explored. At either rate, we've gotten it. All right, uh, what's up next? Let's well, actually, let's let's explore the rest of this first, so we actually know what we're dealing with. Um, because it'll give you an idea of what what's what's coming up. I guess bread for someone. Bread for the bread gods. There we go. Look at that organization. It's an empty sack now. Alright. We have one of these kinds of puzzles. It goes all the way to the door. We also have a portal there. Leading to nowhere. Oh. This is going to send me away. Yeah. Alright, so... Oh, we have... We have a... This can't be optional if that's the last, uh... Uh, wh whatever those globe things are. Okay, Pat's gonna eat his own kind. Haha. <laughs> Maybe funny. It, that was basically, um... A crime against nature, right there. I just forced Pat to do something he never wanted to do. He ate- he ate another lizard. Alright, well, I still have no idea what these keys are for. Um... We have the Tomb of Sacrifice, which we'll do next time, so take care, everybody. Bye.